What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another installment of A Film Review with First in Inches. We're going to be diving deep into a player's film today. My name is Aiden Florsher. I'm here with my great, wonderful, beautiful co-host. Michael O'Brien, Texas wide receiver, Xavier Worthy is who we're going to go into today. Or as we like to call him, Ricky Bobby, because he just likes to go fast. We hope you like, comment, subscribe. Enjoy the video. The reason I chose this first play is because it really highlights Xavier's elite speed and why it'll translate heavily into the NFL. As you can see here, he takes the ball from a little bubble screen, takes it extremely far. Crib. Crib. Look at the distance between him and that defender. I paused it so you could emphasize that. That's ten yards. unreal. It's not 10, but 7 yards. It's just like, it's honestly impressive. How that ball was caught. He might, be, he might be the fastest player in college football. We'll look at this play again here. But, I mean, very few guys you see exhibit this type of speed. There's obviously lots of burners, especially at the college level, who get design plays. But this guy is just not a design play guy. He runs routes well as well. But this really highlights his burner-level game-changing speed that he flashes often. This play highlights Xavier Worthy's elite awareness around the sidelines. It's unbelievable that he makes this catch in bounds and turns up field as quickly as he does. He turns up field before that guy even falls. Yeah, I mean, you see stuff like this all over his film. His awareness of the sideline and just general, like, fluidity in his movements. You'll see it on this punt return, too. He's so fast and just side-to-side -side lateral movements are unbelievable. There's a reason this guy had 981 yards, 12 touchdowns as a true freshman. I mean, just look at the speed here. Just sees a hole. Bye. No one's touching this guy. Yeah, there's nothing we even could say here. It's just like, holy shit, this is eye candy. It really is. This is another play that just shows off Worthy's insane speed. Just outrunning half the defense, turning up off of catching the flat up the sideline. You see it there in the rewind. I mean, just outrunning half the defense. It's, it's kind of stupid, actually. Yeah, towards the end of this run, you can see there's about five guys that he outruns. He doesn't even catch a block. It's unbelievable. Yeah, caught by a shoestring at the end there, but unbelievable speed. The theme of the sideline catch really comes up often when talking about Worthy. Look at this. How does he stay in bounds there and just turn up like that? Pretty crazy. His turn up field like ability is just next to none. I, I have never seen a receiver have the ability to just take that first step and boom. He kind of reminds me of a faster Zay Flowers when I watch him. That's a great combo, B. I love that. Wanted to highlight a play that wasn't a touchdown. This is a nice bubble screen to the left. It really shows his versatility as a receiver. He could do anything, really. Look how he just goes upfield with literally the first step. You'll see it in the other angle. Yeah, I mean, again, showing off his speed. We haven't really shown too much of his route running in this video, but we really wanted to show off just, like, how he turns upfield so fast. I refer to this play as the great nuking of Tuscaloosa. Quinn Ewers with an absolute beautiful ball here. You'll see it in a second. Worthy goes from the 40-yard line to the end zone in about 0.2 seconds. He's like a Lambo. The way he tracks that ball is fantastic. I mean, Ewers lays that ball up fantastically, throws him open because he's really not open when he throws this, but just outruns the safety, catches the angle. I mean, this play just shows that you could really draw up any play for this guy. He's going to be valuable to you in pretty much any position. You want to get the ball in this guy's hands no matter what. Line him up in the backfield here, a little flat route. Turn him upfield, get close to the first and down bounces off some guys and makes something out of nothing there really with a couple guys in his face. Now we're just going to go over his strengths and weaknesses. So according to his strengths, we say he has game breaking speed and agility. I mean, if you've watched any of this tape, you could have seen Pretty that. Pretty blatant. He's very good after the catch too. But I mean, a lot of the times with these burners, you don't think they're great route runners. A lot of these college teams just have them running goes and posts. But Texas uses them in a lot of different ways. He is a good route runner. And he's definitely not afraid of contact for a guy of his size. Yeah, he's very violent with his routes. He he likes to uh, hit a corner route really hard, you know? He'll like, also drop a shoulder on a safety like he's not 175 pounds. It's kind of hilarious. So, enough of us gorging at Xavier Ward. Let's talk a little about his weaknesses. Yeah, he's obviously not perfect. He has inconsistent hands. He's not the, you know... He's not Jerry Rice, let's put it that way. He definitely has focus drops at times, and he's obviously very slight. I believe he weighs about 175. That might be generous, too. but Yeah, he's not DK Metcalf. I mean, as we could see with the trend of receivers that has been going on in the league, the smaller guys have been having more success. It doesn't really matter as much, especially with the new rules in the NFL. You can be smaller and have success. You're not getting jammed at the line as much. 
With that, all that being said, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. Uh, yeah, peace. See you later. Take care. Enjoy.